like to think of the Arts Council as the central hub of information for artists, arts organizations, and the general public when it comes to the arts in Indianapolis. One of the things that is dear to our heart are our programs for independent artists. The latest is the Transformational Impact Fellowship. Two $100,000 fellowships uh, where a lead artist has identified a community and why it requires a transformation and is really the kind of thing that will transform lives, places, and really unite us even more. My program is essentially a mobile cultural arts center. So that we can literally go up and down a couple of blocks and kind of lead people like an ice cream truck would or a parade down to a field, an end of a block, just an open space where we can put on these performances. So they're very impromptu kind of uh, pop-up performances. One of the elements is puppets and puppetry. Uh, which we find is very engaging for the children. And so we can also do some of our workshops in puppet making. And the big hit is the buzzard puppet. Because the purpose of the grant and the purpose of the project is to see if we could bring together these uh, four neighborhoods which have at their background three distinct cultures, an Appalachian culture, an African-American culture, and a Latino culture, so that we can show similarities and celebrate uniqueness. So we want to show where we are alike and also celebrate what's very specific about our cultures. And you can check us out on discovernearwestindies.org and Indies is I-N-D-Y-S. The title of the project is Bridge and involves creating a large-scale interactive video mural. The mural is going to be populated with images that are generated by patients, by uh, family members of patients, and even by the staff that works with the patients. By connecting uh, sensors to the patients, sensors they'd already be connecting with, things like pulse ox indicator, uh, breath sensors, uh, these things collect data, and we'll take that data and uh, process it and use it to create visual imagery. When Greg came to me with his ideas to be able to use a digital interface as a way to project an experience that they were having, I initially thought about people that have limited mobility. And I work with Dr. Pascuzzi in the Department of Neurology, and that is his specialty. And so the three of us started brainstorming, well, how might we be able to best use this kind of interface to develop a therapeutic intervention? And how do we make it something that is not um, just a really neat thing to see? I love the notion of this idea that the hospital gives over control of the facade of the building or the interior space to the patients is sort of giving back that control or sharing that control. From my point of view, it's about creating an opportunity for these patients or these individuals to be able to express themselves and to, to have a voice beyond their body and to regain some sense of control and to regain some sense of autonomy as other systems are preventing that from happening. 